uh, the domain area like math, statistic, and optimization. Okay, we can create different kind of application. Uh, you can deploy it in, uh, in different platforms. Okay, so we can keep uh, we can access different type of database. Okay, we can create the reports from it. Okay, so in MATLAB we have to create the script. Okay, we have to do the MATLAB programming. Okay, later on we can see how how to create the script, how to write the MATLAB program. Okay, and uh, similarly we have the simulink, which is uh, for the simulation and model based design okay so uh, as like matlab here we we need to create the script so simul uh, in simulink it is like a block based approach okay so we have to create just uh, drag the uh, uh, drag the blocks okay and connect it so simulink it is used for the event based modeling physical modeling real time uh, simulation and testing when you develop any system for verification validation and test uh, testing of it you can create the, uh, you can use the simulink so uh, we will not go in deep with these things. OK, right now we will focus on the MATLAB. OK. And uh, some of the applications of, uh, let's say, MathWorks, uh, sorry, some of the ma application areas of MATLAB, that is control system, signal processing and communication, image processing and computer revision, test and measurement, computational finance, computational biology, and etc. Right now, uh, we have around uh, one not 17 toolboxes of MATLAB. OK, so let's go. So the agenda for the today's session is the overview of the course. OK, so in that we will see working with the MATLAB user interface, entering commands and creating variables, then importing and saving data, and how to access the MATLAB documentation.